Yo, so it's been a minute with the Turbo Fox Body restoration build, so I figured I'd come in, uh, give an update. So as of right now, the Mustang is sitting on all jacks because I ended up ha I ended up selling the complete old exhaust system because I'm not going to be running it. I'm going to be doing a, um, a hood dump from the Turbo. Um, because the car doesn't need emissions, it's over 25 years old. So that's sold, sold that, sold the old cooling system. Because I am going to be doing a um, possibly Mishi motor radiator with electric fans. Uh, in terms of the inside, nothing much besides me realizing that I did this, uh, this dynamiting shit over the holes for when I go to put um, some new seat brackets and shit. And then just got to do dynam at the other side a little bit then i know this old weathering shit i don't know if i'm gonna do it now later whatever um i gotta fucking find a way to get that um that bowl is stuck and then i gotta find a way to get these fucking studs out and shit all that shit is like in there probably just like get a get a cutter and just like cut them shits grind them down whatever and then just probably call that shit a day because um i really want to get this shit over with um because winter's uh fall is about to be here and winter's like right around the corner after that so i ain't trying to take too much time so and then the wire tucking process uh most of it is pretty much done i'll say it's about like 80 percent done the 20 percent is just gonna be um getting this shit like zip tied and really up out of the way because i don't want it touching um I was touching the shock, strut, whatever. I uh, just really want that shit up and out the way and not touching nothing, nothing really hanging um, that can interfere with um, even the tire. So I don't want none of that happening. Because uh, then on this side, put a little grommet to come through. Because a lot of Fox Body guys do it to protect the connections for the um, starter solenoid. I gotta grind down. These uh, bolts a little better, um, and then even the bolt right there. Um, wire wheeled both sides of the headers to get the old gasket and shit out. Put the um, the T fitting for the oil pressure sending unit, so able to get the line ran right here that goes onto the top of the turbo. Um, I took the alternator off because it's not I'm not gonna be running that alternator I'm gonna be going with a 200 amp because I plan on running um, a lot of electronics in terms of uh, electric fans cons uh, constantly have uh, switches for it go double din um, keyless remote entry so I plan on trying to update this car pretty good when it comes to the uh, electronics and shit kind of bring it slightly modernized um, but you know so take the old one out just to pretty much and then also all the cooling hoses so every single little cooling hose um that shit's all out because i am going to be going uh put new ones i don't know if i'm going with sve or mishimoto i don't know um depending which uh full setup do i want to run uh and then i'm gonna do like all new pulleys um those i'm definitely gonna do sve pulleys uh just because then this right here we um also got done i was gonna say we well we is you know anybody watching that's us together but i've been doing all this stuff by myself and just a lot of youtube but um tap the oil pan that was a pain in the ass got that fitting in there and then uh got the uh the oil hose ran i know it's between the two uh fuel lines i might i'm probably gonna put it on this opposite side of this fuel line i don't know um i'll see because nothing's really tightened down it everything is just fitted snug for the moment um nothing is like fully like set in stone stone yet so we ain't you know we're all good and it comes right up to here i know i've been doing a lot of stuff um off camera not really showing anything getting done but it's just because i'd be in such a get it done mood where like i just I just start a ball rolling and I don't even cut the camera on or anything because I got like, I'm watching YouTube videos or 
music because I'm learning as I'm building this. Like I don't 100% know what I'm doing, but I'm learning as I'm going. So by the end of it, I will be knowing what I'm doing. Um, and then also what we're going to be doing today though, I ended up buying a blowtorch because we are going to heat up that one bolt that is fucking keeping the old steering shaft on because I need to get that shit off because then I want to be able to immediately buy a new one and get the whole steering shit done with because like I want to put the headers back on and start really fully like getting shit forward going but I don't want to put this header back on because it gives me very good easy access to deal with the steering shaft or steering yeah steering shaft this right here is for the AC um because I do plan on keeping the AC but in terms of keeping everything clean and lines and shit like that like you know when I put this shit 100% back together I plan on blowing I plan on blowing up this fucking motor I plan on putting a hole in this shit once the turbo is back on because yeah I don't really give too too many shits about it I want to give it give myself an excuse to yank the motor out completely fix at least the chassis because the chassis is on the line like shit um and just really do things my way but i want to get this i want to have fun with it a little bit first before i decide to blow it up so then moving on uh so yep got the blower valve got my little the fitting on there with the um the nice hoses and then this is a quick disconnect let's see if it can focus let's see if we can focus it'd be nice if it could nope it don't all right uh, and then on the turbo itself, all we did was just uh, put the the top fitting and then the bottom fitting. So oil comes in, oil goes out. Um, I already started um, putting a mark to where I'm going to tap into the turbo for the boost controller. They said on three doesn't warranty the turbo. If you tap into it, I don't give a shit. Because if anything, we could just find an eBay turbo to throw on there or... A Garrett turbo or whatever I don't really give a fuck like this is just entry this is just me entry getting into my first turbo build but I'm not gonna really stick with on three for everything I'm pretty sure as progress is made through a lot of trial and error uh, things are gonna get upgraded and changed so I don't really give a shit but uh, we got the wastegate on the hot side and the reason why I got it on now is because I know I'm gonna have a hard time getting it on on here with it being on the car and it was a huge bitch um, I put all the springs in here so well not all of them but all of the uh, the uh, high PSI springs so it's in total 28 PSI of uh, springs in here and for the meantime I got the top fitting right here I know I gotta put another one right here because I'm starting to learn the plumbing situation with this like which one gets ran to the like it's gonna be I'm gonna end up capping off the top and just running it straight to the side because it's gonna go fucking from uh, turbo boost controller boost controller wastegate and that's it that that's gonna that's gonna be all she wrote because uh yeah fuck that shit because they keep saying somebody was saying like if you do the top and the bottom like everybody usually does you get boost spikes and all this shit and I'm like yeah no nah. I just run it from the side port um, boost controller from turbo and then that's it that's gonna be all she wrote um and then i just gotta figure out in terms of um the o2 sensor harness deal because i think i'm gonna have to run the o2 sensor um shit let me see if i could uh get on the floor for you guys um let's see where is it where is it? i think this is it right here this is the o2 sensor harness right here um, so I just gotta figure out how all that shit's gonna work. Um, figure out if I gotta disconnect and get rid of that shit. I don't know. But, um, I'll figure that out later. When it comes time to really start hooking, uh, stuff up. Because I'm gonna end up needing the, uh, downpipe to get custom. Because I'm gonna do, um, uh, shit. I forgot which one's the downpipe. Uh, I think it's this one. I think this is the downpipe. I'm gonna have that get custom done, and um, cause it's gonna go straight uh turbo out the hood. 
and I want to keep I want to modify and use the uh, downpipe given because it's already got the uh, the sensor fitting and all that other shit so all it's gonna be is just you know bending and cutting and re-welding shouldn't be that hard probably a little expensive but I don't really give a shit it is what it is but like I said for today's agenda we're gonna be worrying about trying to heat up that bolt to get it out so once I pretty much get everything set up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut back in and uh, hopefully we'll go ahead and heat this bolt up, get this shit right out. Okay, so now that we're under the car, oh, I'm gonna show you like, it's the, uh, let's see, I don't know, I don't know how to zoom in on this motherfucker, there we go. It's that bolt right there that we are gonna be burning up red hot and I bet you it's coming off today. Um. So, and yeah, when I was talking about the O2 sensor harness, yeah, here we go right here. That's the other plug. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be figuring, uh, I guess, that shit out later. I guess I'll just leave it there for now and then whatever. I just need to make sure that in terms of the harnesses and shit, just all the plugs get um, plugged in correctly. So, now that you see what we're about to do, I'm going to go ahead and check back in, hopefully, with uh, some type of an update or finally if the shit comes off. So like I said, I'll be back with an update. Almost set the fucking car on fire because the rag joint kind of slightly started catching on fire from the heat. Um, and that shit just like kind of stripped even more. So now I'm getting pissed. So I don't know if I'm about to fuck around. Try to put, try to find a way to squeeze a smaller socket on top of it and try to lose a socket or what but yeah this motherfucker almost caught on fire and shit I'm gonna keep trying though I don't really care um cause I need that bolt to fucking come out so yep, this is gonna be fun today but uh yeah we're gonna get this shit I don't really care we gonna get it today, somehow, somewhere. Damn, trying to press the record button. All right, so we back with an update. You feel me? Ah, almost set the fucking car on fire, y'all. But I'm about to show y'all right now. I was able to go ahead and just unbolt the two original screws, as you can see, all that dust on there from the shit catching on fire. So now it's just that still stupid ass bolt that is holding on to the shit. It's still there. Let me show you. Got rid of this shit. Uh-huh. Fucking piece of shit ass rag joint that comes with these stupid ass fox bodies. And you can see where it started catching on fire. But that shit is finally out. Now I got to worry about trying to get the other bolt out. And call it a fucking day, man. So we back here a couple days later after my battery decided to disrespectfully turn off and cut me off. So, quick update. I went to my, you know, my local Harbor Freight. Went and got some strip bolt socket remover shits, right? But where I messed up is, because I think I hit it with the impact, couldn't get it to work, right? So, decided to do something else. Bought me a fucking grinder, cutter, uh, cutter. It's not a grinder, it's a cutter. So we we're gonna cut that boat off because I'm done playing games. But I actually did need the cutter for other shit. Um, I got working here. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm probably gonna lube these uh, those two bolts right there, right there. I'm probably gonna soak them in some W, uh, not WD-40. Uh, some PB blaster and try to do the double um the the double nut method pause um and then try to take them out that way but if that shit don't work then I'm just gonna go in there uh cut them shits off because I don't really feel like uh dealing with no extract you know drilling in the hole and extracting shit update with this real quick I'll go ahead and show you um got a previous video on it but I uh, stripped it down because I'm going to just yank out the wire harness completely and brand new, put in a brand new wire harness. Obviously, clean some shit up, 
um, it was real beautiful that a bolt actually broke off in here. It was real beautiful. I want, I want that shit to, I want that shit to really focus for me. There you go. That shit was beautiful. It was so beautiful that it broke off in there. So. Focus for me, damn it. There we go. So, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, stripping that shit down. Uh, and then, um, hey, I'm gonna need you though. Um, and then with this shit, cause I wanna put in the new, um, I wanna put new fucking, uh, the new things, cause I bought some OEM ones. I'm gonna end up cutting this shit off. So that grinder is gonna be putting in, it's gonna be putting in some, it's gonna be putting in some work today. We're gonna be cutting all types of shit off. So we're gonna be putting in a lot of work today. I don't know if I'll get onto the bike today. I'm just mainly worried about getting that shit off so then I could go ahead and order the um the steering shaft and get that put on and then I could, you know, get the wrapping up the car and especially finishing up the inside. I need to really finish up the inside. It's technically more important a little bit because that needs to get ready um so yeah i'm trying to get a lot of things done today so prayers man hopefully let's get this shit done man so here's the carnage i had to fucking saw all of this shit in half like this shit sawed it at the wall The grooves is still in there. So. Oh man. My light would just die. Let me grab my phone. So like, as you can see. That shit looks crazy. So hopefully when I go to put the new steering column on, we won't have no issues, no problems. But finally, 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 got the shit out. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit, then try to move on forward to these two, uh, these two fucking posts over here. Well, two studs didn't want to come out with the two nut method so we chopped them off now what I gotta try to do is get that last Torx bolt out hopefully I can I cut a slit into it for a flathead so hopefully all I gotta do is just take a flathead and try to tap in and see if we could uh, spin that shit around fucking 3,000 years later that shit is out, but not fully out. I don't care. Because the main thing that was in the way was this big ass piece. So that shit took way too long than I thought. So all I'm gonna do now is just clean up and call it a day.